I think I understand why doctors are on strike, but I think there's a deeper detail as to why doctors are choosing to be on strike, knowing the consequences of their choosing to be on this strike, the people who get to suffer or people who get to bear the brunt of doctors' actions. What are, what are some of the realities that doctor, doctors face, which has also fueled you know, the reason for the strike? Okay, if I may start this way, one thing we must all understand is that um, doctors are not, are not um, spirits or angels, end quote. We are also human beings with flesh and blood running through our veins. We've got families to take care of. We've got um, responsibilities which require money as well to, um, to take care of. I cannot remember the last time I went to any shop or any eatery and the leg tender is that I'm a doctor. I will give you an example. Now, this is a real life example. I will not mention the doctor's name, but he's a junior colleague of mine who presently, the last time he got salary was in February. He got married, yeah, he got married in February and shortly after that, he got paid February salary and that was the last time he got salary. What do you want him to feed on? What do you want his new wife to feed on? At least, I mean, I can imagine the wife saying, oh, thank God I got married to a doctor. At least certain part of my um, upkeep should be taken care of. But the truth is that the last time that doctor got a penny was in February and is working in a federal teaching hospital. What is it that we don't know? Because I think that some things we don't know. And maybe if we knew, we could appreciate why doctors are on strike and have been on strike for this long. When you've been trained to be a doctor in Nigeria, you have these high expectations that things you see. Someone told yes. me that. But when you're done with your training and you see the system in, this, in the country, you're like, is this what, was it the expectation I had? And then you understand that there are nations that have this standard and even beyond what you ever imagined. As a doctor, you want excellence. See, I, I don't know about others, other health um, practitioners, but I know as a doctor, you want the best. That is the word, the best. And you won't settle for less. But in Nigeria, we are trained. In Nigeria, we are trained that sometimes we have to, we have to settle for less to help the patient. What, what do you mean settle for less? Is it a lack of equipment, a lack of regard? So, we, so we've established lack of, or say poor payment or the absence of payment. Yeah, yeah. So when you say settle for less, what would that also imply? Okay, so let me tell you, um, if you're having a health system, if you want to have a health system, a robust health system, you talk about financing, you talk about manpower, you talk about drugs, you talk about leadership, you talk about governance. Now, this stuff I've mentioned, we don't even have anyone, the building blocks of your health system. We don't yeah. want anyone functioning well. Let